Good evening and welcome to tonight's post-game press conference with head women's basketball coach Danielle santos Atkinson, Randy Thomas, and Alarise Gooden. Coach, give us your thoughts following tonight's win over New Orleans. Yeah, to, to start the game, I, I was um, talking to, to radio and I said that this game is the, one of the games I hate every single year. A game before, Chris, before Christmas break is really tough. You're coming off the of finals um, and you're going into Christmas break and it's, it's really tough to go in and, and play your best. It takes an intentional focus and intentional work to be able to do that. Um, this team worked really hard uh, tonight. Um, we didn't work as smart as we could have. Um, our turnovers our turnovers were uh, more turnovers than, than we could have imagined, um, but we found a way. And this team found a way to finish it out. They found a way to get the W. Um, we, we finished a non-conference season undefeated at home. That is a, a milestone that, that we want to be proud of, that we want to celebrate. Um, but we also know that there's things that we did in this game that are not acceptable, things that we did in this game that are not going to work continuing uh, in conference play. And so we're going to get back. We're going to get back to work. Um, but I'm, I'm glad they're going to be able to go back. These ladies are going to be able to go back and get some rest um, and get refreshed coming back uh, to start the year. Questions? Yeah, Coach, what was the message going into uh, overtime for this team? Yeah, we said, like I said, listen, we got to leave it all out there, okay? We just leave it all out there, play as hard as we can, um, take care of the ball. Uh, another thing that, that hurt us were the rebounds that we gave up. Gave up 20 offensive rebounds, um, and, and that is tough to overcome. And between the turnovers and the rebounds and putting them at the free throw line, that's not a recipe for success. So. With emphasis going into overtime was how do we limit those things? Um, how do we take care of those things? And, and again, continue to play as hard as we could because to that point, that was the only thing that, that we had been, been doing uh, well. There were times in the game that, that we talked about it. We were shooting the ball 60% for you know three quarters of the game. We're shooting the ball 50%. Um, but with the amount of turnovers that we had, we didn't have enough possessions to really be able to, to spread it. To that same tune, Coach Caldwell, what are some of the main lessons you learned from uh, your team's performance on the hardwood today? Um, just those things. I mean, we've got to we got to box out. We got to limit uh, our fouls and putting teams on the free throw line, and we got to make sure we're taking care of the ball. Now, a lot of the games recently down the stretch have really gotten close to been really decided by one two possessions, um, which is obviously going into conference play. That's super good when you with experience, but. What have you learned throughout these close games, these these fourth quarter one possession games that you guys are going to be able to use in conference play? Yeah, um, I, I think just what you said, that experience, right? What it feels like to be in that situation, what it feels like to have to step up and hit that shot. We've had multiple people do it. What it feels like to have to step up and hit those free throws. Um, how to defend without fouling. You've got one possession to finish the game. How to defend without fouling. Um, the, the What this team needs as a coach, what this team needs, um, in order to go into that situation and feel comfortable, uh, to go into those situations and feel great about what it is that they're doing, um, we've got to make sure that we are we are set and ready um, with those scenarios. Uh, New Orleans seemed like they were really swarming you guys uh, defensively uh, from the beginning of the game and coming uh, to the end of the fourth quarter. How did you guys kind of overcome that and get the W out of the Thirty eight turnovers. I don't know. <laughs> Um, you know what, they, again, they just pulled together and you could see them in huddles telling each other, we're okay, we got this, right? Picking each other up when, when we made mistakes, when we turned the ball over. Um, and I think that was great. That's, that's a testament to them and, and getting people back where they needed to be. It's, as we talked about, it's deflating to make those mistakes. It's deflating when you give up offensive rebounds. But I think they continue to pick each other up, continue to talk to each other, encourage each other, um, and continue to hold each other accountable and make the adjustments they needed to make on the floor and talking to each other. Brandy, a lot of your teammates tonight got into foul trouble. Uh, what went into your, you know, uh, it was a very physical game, especially down low in the paint. How were you able to stay out of foul trouble? Um, I use my strength as well. <laughs> uh, that's what is like uh, key to me being versatile. As an undersized four, I'm strong and I have a little ball handling. But on defense, sometimes it gets the best of me, but, you know, I stood my ground and my teammates had my back and helped too. So I was able to overcome it. And, or not get fouled. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, another one for Brandy. Obviously, you weren't you wasn't as efficient as you would like like to be tonight. But sometimes when players start off 
slow shooting, it gets in their head, and they got to get unconfident in themselves. You didn't kind of see that way. So what kind of allowed you to not get discouraged and keep on playing your game and, and ended up with a pretty good team? Uh, my teammates, they always pick me up and say, next one, next one. That's what I think. We always say, next one, next shot. Like, they're going to make the next shot. So they keep me confident throughout um, the game. And, you know, it's my fifth year. So even if I am going off slow in the beginning, I always stay confident in myself and know that I put in the work to be able to make those shots later on coming down the stretch. <clears throat> Coach, eight steals by Rosie Nicholson, a career high for her. What Talk about her impact on the defense and forcing those New Orleans, uh, eight of those New Orleans turnovers today. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm proud of Rosie because she's not 100%, right? And and being able to, to get career highs and to be able to do what she did out there on the floor um, is impressive. And so uh, she did a great job. She brings that energy for us. We can rely on her every game uh, defensively to put us in a position to get extra possessions, uh, to put us in a position to make it really tough on our opponents. Um, and she does a great job with that. And she takes pride in it as well. She takes pride in her defense. She wants to be a great defender and she wants to impact our team in that way. Um, and again, the fact that she was able to do that, not being not being 100% really shows her, her commitment and, and her fight. Thanks for Allie Reese. And you came into the game and immediately had all offensive impact and you ended up having a really efficient game shooting five for nine from the field. I'm just wondering, what does that role mean to you specifically, just that bench role coming in and being able to support your team wherever they, you see fit? Uh, yeah, it means a lot. I mean, I have a lot of responsibility. Coach Santos trusts me to come into the game and provide that extra energy when we have a slow start. So um, I'm thankful that she trusts me with that role and I've been happy. I was able to produce. Uh, to Coach and for the players who ever walked into her, uh, how do you guys feel now that conference play is right around the corner? Good, you know. We talked about being in close games. Um, it's like it's like a a win win almost because now we know we learn every time we're in a close game whether we come out with a win or a loss. So we know what to do next time if we take the loss or if we take the W like we did tonight. Like we know what to do in this close game situation. Whereas other teams are just blowing other teams out. We just say they know what to do in those situations. So we know what to do. We're confident now. We've been in a lot of situations like that. If we blow somebody out, we're happy. If we get a a W by a close game, we're happy. <laughs> I think it's great. I'm, I'm excited to, to step into conference play. We, we use this non-conference season to continue to get better and better and better. Um, I think the the best of this team is, is still not, we haven't seen it yet, right? It's still to come and that's what I get most excited about is we're able to do some of the things that we're doing and this team is still not um, peaking as of yet and so Again, we, I mean, we didn't even mention that we, we had two key pieces out, right, to start the game. We've got our starting point guard out, and we've got another one of our, our posts coming out the, off the bench. Um, those are key pieces for us, right? We, we've got players playing 42 minutes and 39 minutes and 36 minutes versus a team that swarmed us the way that they did. And so this non-conference season, we've been battle-tested and we've been pushed. And so now just continuing to work to bring it all together. Um, so that we can see some of the success that we know this team is capable of in conference play. If there are no more questions, that concludes tonight's post game press conference. Coach Brandy Ellerice, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys.